Okay, hello. So, let's get straight to the point and do the next song, Arrapam. This is, I think this is the most brutal song in this, in this whole album. It is, <laughs> it is just heavy and, and brutal. It, it has even some sort of grindcore kind of thing going on and, uh, and just basically death thrash. You know, this whole album I, I classify it as a death thrash. But anyway, let's get get to the point. Arba is once again a very Finnish word that doesn't have actual translation. But you know, usually when we refer to Arabas, we refer to words that are very strong, like cursing words or swearing words, basically. Anyway, that's what it means. Uh, the first lines, leg in front of the other, <laughs> you know, this is a this is a Finnish saying that you that when you go forward you do put put your leg in front of the other and then the other leg in front in front of the other and so on. That's that is just a saying, you know, for going forwards. Left is defining the pace many times in in Finnish. The word left, when when it comes to the, you know, your sides, it doesn't have anything to do with politics. But anyway, uh, if you have to do something with your left hand or something, it's uh, it usually means that you are doing it badly, or or the outcome might be something bad, you know, because usually right is the dominant hand and you know you know what it means and uh, this clearly implies that uh, that in, in this case as I am trying to move and the left is defining the pace the speed it means that we are not going very fast and he actually makes it more clear in the next line I'm moving slowly if at all yeah that is pretty straightforward translation yeah uh, the next thing he is talking about is this you know kitapuri as in volume for what you know to make volume I, I'm not sure how it, it is pronounced but anyway you know what it means uh, to make volume visible yeah that's what it means rage is defining to note and this strong word you know arapa is is filling an empty head so he is in, in rage and uh, and all that he wants to do and all he can think about is you know to yell and and, and use strong words The next thing is probably a thought that he has. Um, <laughs> then, when the tomorrow go comes, it will come with something useless. You know, that there is no use for the tomorrow. That is basically the idea here. That, um, that, you know, <laughs> that nothing good can happen tomorrow. That, that there is, there is such, uh, that he is not expecting anything from the tom tomorrow. That is basically the idea, I think. And that t t tomorrow, just by existing and being so useless, it carves my flesh and devours my po bones. I I guess you can get the image here. I I don't need to explain that any further. It isn't an exact saying or anything. So is it too much to ask? Is it too much to demand to know the reason for my spleen? I'm not sure about the spleen if it's a good word, but you know, kiuku, uh, which is this kiuku, when in its basic form, it is kind of like rage, but you know, with uh, being, you know, more uh, kind of like the thing that kids do have, that is 
that is something you know yeah that's basically it. okay a little rest for you <laughs> about that to, to see what it means but anyway this is the chorus give me shat give me yoke give me an order I'm not again sure about the order I mean quite literally yeah it just means order but you know all in all it, it means that things needs to be in a certain way that that's what it that that what the yaristus in here means the next one is in once again a, a good translation isn't my mind having but you know it, it implies the next next one in these preggles isn't it having a piece or isn't it getting a piece you know so is his mind ever getting or having peace and the lines between here give me rope give me knots give me knots <laughs> give me understanding this is pretty straightforward thing and, and you can feel the other meanings here next give me tether give me pile give me order again is in my will having or is in my will getting give me chain give me luck give me understanding isn't it having a strength or isn't it getting a strength you know the word saw that we do see here four times is uh, literally to get you know getting but I, I, I think that it, as he uses it, it in these phrases it it translates better as a having than getting but anyway you could see it as getting the next one uh, listening as a fool is screaming so he is referring himself to be a fool that is screaming out loud you know very loudly and the celluloses are panting <laughs> this is this is really bad I'm sorry for that but you know this is pretty pretty hard words because hurma henget it is very very old Finnish it comes from the Bible apparently and I and I think that it, these celluloses or whatever you however you do pronounce them is the word that is used in the Bible, but I'm not definitely sure about that. But you know, it, it basically they are basically things you know. Well, if you literally translate that word "hurma hengi," it is it should be sort of blood spirit but you know that is a bad bad thing but you know spirits anyway some sort of spirits and that are very enthusiastic about something and and in this case pretty much something about something bad something not good something evil I think so those evil spirits so to speak are are panting somewhere but n not in the, not panting in the sense that uh, they are very uh, exhausted they are just uh, more likely creepingly mm, breathing i i think that is more more precise <laughs> more precise you know translation here and now these these evil spirits are basically tossing me everywhere now this is once again a Finnish saying viera ku litran mitta taking me or carrying me like a liter meter or <laughs> whatever you wanna call it you know 
you probably know what is what a literometer is. It is this thing that you with what you do transmit a one liter. Anyway, usually literometer is a very light object that you can toss far away. So yeah, it, it basically means that it, that if I am a like a literometer then it means that I am such a person that is easily taken to the places. Okay, anyway. So is it too much? I ask completely too much to demand to know what is possessing me. Yeah. And definitely possessing in this case because uh, the previous lines are referring to Bible. Okay. And here again we do have the same chorus. Yeah, give me chef, give me yoke, give me order, it's in my mind having give me rope, give me nuts, give me understanding, isn't it having peace? Give me tether, give me pile, give me order. Is in my will having give me chain, give me luck, give me understanding, isn't having strength. Okay. So that is that the second song from this album. I thank you for watching, like and subscribe, I will do some more <laughs> after this album if you just want and I will see you Thursday, goodbye.